What's up everybody, Jerry with Dipping Up Trading here for another video. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about ticker symbol AMC. Just gonna do a quick recap for you. Gonna check the Ortex data uh, as well as Stonko Tracker and just kind of give you kind of an over, I would say a, um, just kind of like a diagnosis on, on where I could see this thing going tomorrow, um, whether it be up or down, um, and then kind of what, are, what I foresee for the, uh, for the remainder of the week. So uh, just gonna jump right in here. Um, so on the day, AMC finished, closed out the day at, uh, let's see. So closed out the day at 47.40, down another 2.11% in the after hours. Um, pretty much what I was seeing, um, I did some Fibonacci retracement. Apologies for all the lines here. I kind of have some levels of resistance and support, and then I kind of drew the Fibonacci over that uh, specifically. Let me do put the Fibonacci in a different color. All right, so. All right, well, anyway, so the Fibonacci retracement, so I did it off the hourly, um, and I did it from the, the base of the of that run up, which is around that 42, 37, 42, 46 or so. And I went up to the high, which which is where we touched that 49, 40 mark. And then we had kind of that fake out breakdown. Um, now, kind of what I'm seeing here is you can see on the chart here how we're kind of going sideways, but on the RSI, we're still kind of in this downtrend. Um, so this is still, we're still in a little bit of bearish divergence. Um, just based again on what I'm seeing on, on this RSI, there's still some room to run as far as getting this back down into that 30 point range. So it wouldn't surprise me to see this continue to dip a little more in pre-market and early um, intraday hours tomorrow. And then hopefully we can bounce from there. Now, the good thing is, is we are still following this cup and handle formation that you see um, that we've kind of been following for the last, what, two weeks now. So you can see how the blue line was here. And then let me go ahead and delete this now. Delete. So you can see how like right here, this is where we've been continuing that cup and handle formation. So following this line here and then across this way and then back up. There we go. So hopefully we can continue this trend up and start making our way to finish up that cup area and then start to make this handle. Um, now again, not everything is, is necessarily a guarantee, especially when it comes to the market specifically. Um, where I could see this dipping down to, or excuse me, if we do continue to run up, we have the next set of level, looks like a level of resistance is around 49, or excuse me, 40, Sorry, my eyes are kind of bothering me. So that 4940, 4950 range. Um, and then from there we have, come on. I think if we get a clean break over that, it should bring us 50. And then we got 54, $55 after that. Um, so again, ideally that's just what I'm seeing um, on this chart here and Ideally, I would like to see us continue to run. I don't necessarily foresee it happening though, just if I'm gonna be realistic. Good thing is, is 45.75 is a good set, is a good base level now of, of support. We have uh, resistance here and then support, support, and then pretty much support right here. Um, so that's good to see. So I don't necessarily see it getting under that threshold per se, but, Again, anything can happen, especially with, when it comes to the stock market. Um, jumping over real quick to the Ortex data. So AMC on the day. So one thing that was pretty significant that I saw is we pretty much had a net neutral day. Uh, we had three and a half million shares returned and roughly three and a quarter million borrowed for a net borrow change of negative 282,000 um, shares returned on the day. Current short interest of the free float is 19.18%. But here's what's pretty significant. So the shares on loan, even from last week, right now we're teetering just under 120 million shares out on loan currently as of where it is right now. Now, here's what's interesting. So I went back through 
on Ortex and I went to let's see shares on loan. So the last time we were at that 119 million mark was let me see. It was pretty much like right around April, like April, yeah, April 5th. Um, so that was when we were hitting it on a run up. And then pretty much after that, we started running in terms of the shares on loan pretty freaking crazy to the point where we were in that 150 range. And then once the Memorial Day run hit, we had that drop off. So if history repeats itself and it looks like it might, I mean, we could we could probably go another 30 million, 35 million if we want to get back to where we were back at the end of April, um, especially if we want to get you know, over that, you know, that $70 mark and into the, uh, the triple digits finally, after we've been waiting for some time, um, continuing on with the Ortex. So exchange reported short interest is 92.14 million. Uh, the estimated short interest of the free float again, like I said before, is right around 19%. Um, the free percent of free float on loan has gone up roughly 12 and a half percent. We're currently at 23.43%. And the utilization is still holding strong at 92%. So not really a change there on the utilization. But what's been pretty significant as far as changing is that shares on loan. Um, so that's going to be something that I'm going to be watching definitely over the next couple of days before we go into the weekend. Um, so Stonko Tracker on AMC real quick. So as of right now, as of where the price is currently, we have 49,000 calls expiring in the money this Friday. If we get over 50, it's going to add another 37,000 um, calls that will be expiring in the money. Current shares available to borrow is roughly about 800,000 at a cost to borrow rate of one and a half percent. And let's see the dark pool percent. As of this was the seventh, so as of yesterday, excuse me, hmm. yeah, it's been a long day. Um, so as of yesterday, thirty-five point six percent of the volume was short um, yesterday, and then the uh, dark pool percent was sixty-two point seven percent was traded actively in the dark pool. Um, so that will pretty much wrap that aspect up. In terms of, let me do one more thing because I do want to look at Fintel. See if we had any change with institutional ownership today. So, no, we haven't really had any significant institutional buys, not since the third. Um, so no real major 13 F's that have been filed based on Fintel, which is interesting because before we were getting them pretty regularly. Um, I mean, we had a substantial amount on the 30th, another substantial amount on the 27th of August. So, um, we're pretty much half, almost halfway through the month and we haven't really had anything significant as far as institutional buys. So, um, I'm definitely still going to be keeping an eye on it just from my perspective, because I like to follow the money, especially, when these large, massive companies are going to be increasing their positions, whether it be on the call side um, or them continuing to increase their position long in AMC. Um, but yeah, so it's just one more thing to, to keep in mind and look out for um, if you're trying to find some sort of catalyst. Uh, the fact of the matter is, it also too, is, you know, movies are not dead. The movie theaters, movie theater chains are not dead. Um, for those of y'all that did not see it, um, the Shang-Chi earnings, or excuse me, Shang-Chi, um, had roughly 140 million worldwide for the opening weekend, which is substantial. Um, it looks like we had domestic was just under 76 million across 4,300 locations over a three day span. Um, from what I've seen in terms of just the overall uh, feedback from the people that have seen it. Um, I mean, they're comparing it to be, you know, as, as great and as entertaining of a movie as, you know, Endgame was, um, and as the most recent Spider-Man was. So it's definitely something that I'm going to be looking forward to going to see. Um, and of course I will be doing it whether in a normal AMC or even an IMAX. I'd love to see it in an IMAX, um, just because it's a much better movie experience. Um, but I digress, but, um, 
that'll pretty much wrap it up for this video uh, regarding AMC. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. If you have any comments, drop in that comment section below, and I will see you guys on the next one.